This is a robot lamp. It is a 4 degree of freedom robot arm with a camera and LED ring light at the end. It tracks hand gestures. The idea is that you can position it as desired and use it as a regular lamp. Let me show you how I did it. On the mechanical side, I am using serial bus servos from Fitech. These are affordable servos with good torque. Being serial servos means we can daisy chain them together, which makes the wiring much simpler and cleaner. We can also retrieve additional parameters such as current, torque, and temperature. However, I'm not making use of these features in this project. The servos connect to a UART board, which acts as a bridge between a microcontroller, in this case, an ESP32. The ESP32 drives the servos and LED. However, the main logic of the program, as well as the vision detection, runs in Python directly on my PC, which talks to the ESP32 over serial communication. The mechanical design of the arm is very simple as all the joints, except the base, are directly driven by the servos. At the base, we are using two radial ball bearings, which make the arm very stable. At the top of the arm, we have a regular USB camera and an LED ring. The ring has addressable RGB LEDs, which give us many options for customization. In front of the LED ring, I added a thin 3D printed panel, which acts as a diffuser. I printed it using clear PTG. Perhaps it would work better if it was printed in white using the fuzzy feature in the slicer. And then, at the base, I also added a push button that turns the LEDs on or off. Now, on the software side, the ESP32 code is relatively simple. It receives commands from the Python program over serial. The ESP32 parses these commands and drives the servos to the target angles at the desired speed. It also sets the LED behavior, such as brightness and color. Then, as mentioned, the Python program, which runs on my PC, has two main functions. First, it runs the OpenCV and media pipe code that detects hand gestures. Some of the gestures that it can identify are one, two, or three fingers extended and shock a gesture. The idea is that each of these gestures will trigger a different robot state. We can see all the possible robot states in this diagram. We can also assign a different LED behavior for each if we want. When the robot initializes, it is in standby state. If one finger extended is detected, it will transition to alert state. From here, it will look for two fingers extended, which will trigger the transition to active state in which it will start tracking the hand. Then from here, it can go to a hold state, which means it will stop tracking and maintain its position. Alternatively, it can transition to approach state if a shock gesture is detected. This means that the robot will attempt to get closer to the hand. We can also make the robot go to the home position if three fingers are extended. For this, the forward and inverse kinematics of the arm were solved. The other function of the Python program is to send the angle commands to the ESP32. For this, it runs a simple PID controller to always attempt to have the tract in the center of the image. If you are interested in building your own, I made available all the 3D files, documentation, and code on my website. I've also put together a detailed assembly guide. Most of the parameters that drive the robot's behavior are easily accessible through configuration files. So, hopefully, it should be straightforward to make customizations. If you have tips on improvements, let me know in the comments.